So for the bridge, what he does is he plays this chord, which is that uh, fourth on the fifth, six on the fourth, six on the third, and fifth on the second. That was used in the verse, and just drums that for a bit. And then he plays this thumb chord. Your thumb goes on the second of the fifth, and it also bars the, uh, or it also mutes the fifth string. Ring finger goes onto the fourth of the third string, or the fourth of the fourth string. Middle finger goes onto the third of the third string, and your index goes onto the second of the second string. And then he just repeats that. So it goes. Then he plays an A power chord, which is open second second on the fifth, fourth, and third strings. And then I think he bars the second on the fifth and the fourth strings. And you could use your ring finger or your pinky or whatever to get the second of the third string, or the fourth of the third string. So. Then he plays a C chord, which is open six, uh, ring finger on the third of the fifth, middle finger on the second of the fourth, open third, and index on the second of the or the first of the second string. Then he plays a D chord, which is open fourth, index finger on the second of the third, ring finger on the third of the second, and middle finger on the second of the first. And then he repeats that. Then he plays an E chord, except it's a full E chord, so it's open 6, middle finger on the 2nd of the 5th, ring finger on the 2nd of the 4th, and index on the 1st of the 3rd. And the last two, the 2nd and the 1st strings, are open. Then a full A chord, which is 6th, uh, 5th, and 1st strings are open, and the 4th, 3rd, and 2nd strings, just the 2nd fret. Then he plays that barred chord that was used in the verse, which is 2nd on the 4th, or 2nd on the 5th, 4th uh, fourth on the 4th, 2nd on the 3rd, uh, the with their barred finger, and 4th on the 2nd. And then he repeats those last 3 chords, so... So after that, he just plays the chorus again, except the ending is just a little bit different before it gets into the uh, the actual outro. Instead of playing this chord, he just continues on with a little bit more of the uh, the E power chord. So that the last little bit of the chorus goes like this. Then for the outro. Uh, he plays an A power chord, which is open 2nd 2nd on the 5th, 4th, and 3rd strings. Then he plays this chord, which was used in the verse, which was 2nd, 4th, 2nd, 4th on the 5th, 4th, 3rd, and 2nd strings. Then he moves over to a thumb chord again, which is thumb on the 4th string, and 6 on the 5th uh, the string with their ring finger. Pinky on the sixth string, of, or the sixth fret of the fourth string with the pinky, and index on the fourth string of the th or fourth fret of the third string. Then he plays this chord, which is index on the fourth of the fifth string, ring finger on the sixth of the fourth string, pinky on the third of the, or pinky on the sixth of the third string, and middle finger on the fifth of the second string. 
Then after that, he does a normal uh, ending of the verse and the chorus, except it's a little bit different at the end, so it's like this. Then right here, he plays the normal E power chord, and then he does this at once, and then he drops the index finger, so the fifth fret is open. Then his pinky goes into the fourth of the sixth string, and it mutes the fifth string. Then he just drops the pinky, and it's open, and you can mute this uh, with their index finger, and that, which is the fifth fret, or the fifth string. And sixth fret, fourth string, so. Then he just plays an E chord once. And that's it. If these videos helped you out at all, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. If you want to leave any suggestions, go ahead and do so in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching.